lost his son to addiction and he wants to, oh my God, get people aware of the stigma around it. So here I am, I'm scared to death of heights, but somehow I got, no pun intended, roped into this and I'm climbing down the building. I, this is awful, but I mean, it, uh, how could you say no, I guess? And guys, we're in the shadow of the White House right now. This was, this was no, no, uh, no mistake that they have it in this building. Good morning. Hello, business meeting right here in front of me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, what did it say? About 10 feet from the bottom. Okay, we're about 10 feet from the bottom, guys. I made it. I, I, I honestly, I can't believe it. I'm sweating though. All, right, all the way down. Sit down on the pavement for me. Here we go. All the way down. Of course, I messed up at the end. There you go. There you go. Oh. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> but it was the best piece of television we had oh today. Oh my gosh. It's just so crazy because doing that, you're really in control. Like you, yeah. it, it's on you. So hats Oof. off, Sam. That was pretty cool. I, could you have done it? I don't know. I'd like to sit in this chair and say I could have, and yeah, I would I know, have, yeah. but I don't know if I was at the top of the building. <laughs> at least it wasn't raining, though. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nicer weather for us this morning. That muggy feeling still here, and that's going to stick around all day. Now what we're watching for is a few thunder showers that are going to pop up for us. So not looking for severe weather in the area, but as muggy as it is, we basically have just the right environment for us to pick up on some of those thunderstorms. So the dew point at 70, that is putting us in kind of the oppressive category. So I just want to show you around the region, all of of us with this very muggy air mass 69 for our dew point in Baltimore 71 in Annapolis. Anytime it's in the upper 60s, lower 70s, that's close to more of a tropical feel out there. So plenty of moisture for these thunderstorms to work with. And right now, not a whole lot going on around DC, just picking up on a few that are uh, just up to the north closer to Baltimore. So what's going on? There's a stationary front that's working its way across the area, and that is going to kind of give us that focal point for where we are going to see those storms pop up. So let's run throughout the rest of the afternoon. Futurecast indicates that there's some here by 1:30. It's very light, though. We're not looking once again for strong storms, just enough to kind of put a damper on your Friday afternoon and unfortunately on the drive home as well. We'll get a couple rumbles of thunder in there, and then as we get closer to about 9 o'clock, that's when I think everything will really start to break down pretty quickly. Drier air moves in for tomorrow. We'll start off tomorrow morning pretty cloudy. If it's not cloudy, it'll likely be foggy, but watch what happens as we go from 7:30 to right around lunchtime. Those clouds really start to break down for us. So by the time the pool is open tomorrow, things are going to start to get sunnier. It'll look better, and I don't think we're going to be dealing with any of those showers. Maybe into West Virginia, but that would be about it. I expect things to stay dry for tomorrow. And as we work our way into Sunday, we work eh, right there about noon Sunday afternoon. That's when we're going to see plenty of sunshine all day long. So throughout the rest of this afternoon, just keep the umbrella handy. And once again, we're watching for some spotty thunderstorms. We get to about 8, 9 o'clock. Things should start to clear out, and temperatures do stay muggy for us throughout the rest of the evening. Overnight lows about 61 to 67 degrees. Finally, by early tomorrow morning, that's when the humidity begins to back off. We go throughout the daytime tomorrow up to 85, mostly sunny, especially by the time we get to the afternoon. And one of the nice things, it'll be less humid tomorrow as well. So if you're out and about not at the pool, it still won't be too bad because that mugginess will come down for us some tomorrow. 85 Saturday, then 87 on Sunday. You'll see lots of sunshine there, especially on Sunday and low humidity then as well. Well, we work our way into the beginning of next week. That's when we we'll bring back in the chance for some thunderstorms, most likely in the afternoon there and temperatures close to 90 on Tuesday. So this weekend, just in time for all the things going on, we've mm -hmm. got the nice weather showing up uh, back to swim practice next week, dealing with some storms. Okay, Josh, thank you. Coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon, Barnes & Noble trying to bring in more customers. We'll tell you what they're trying to do. Plus, why LeBron James says he is skipping the Rio Olympics. That story next right here on ABC 7 News at noon. I've had security in my home for years and never paid attention to the annual increases and what it now costs. My boss switched to Ackerman and told me about their $19.95 monthly rate. That was all it took. Now I'm an Ackerman customer enjoying the savings and great service. It costs me less than I spend on coffee each month. <laughs> Ackerman's monitoring is nationally recognized. Switch your service for free to Ackerman's $19.95 monthly rate and start saving now. And you get up to three months free monitoring when you call today. Call 888-999-1070 or at ackermansecurity.com. Larry Smith and Autria Godfrey on Good Morning Washington, where Good Morning Star.
one, or two, or both. Because at VisionWorks, when you buy a pair of glasses, you get a second pair at no additional cost. Go to visionworks.com slash deals for your coupon. It's all about helping you be a better you. VisionWorks. One of the biggest misconceptions about vein disease is that it is a cosmetic issue only, when in fact it is a serious medical condition in many cases. Over 80 million people suffer with spider veins and varicose veins. Do you? People with vein disease have a genetic predisposition to develop broken valves. Varicose vein disease occurs when weak or damaged valves cause blood to pool in your veins. For over 30 years, Vein Clinics of America has been the leader in easy, effective treatment of spider and varicose veins. Call or go online to schedule your consult and see what Vein Clinics...